I'm talking about strain, is strain the new ejection fraction. Now by echocardiography, most of us start to understand that it is LV ejection fraction and it ends with LV ejection fraction. However, in recent times, newer technological advances have brought out this new AFI me mechanism of understanding myocardial contraction. And perhaps we are going to see the use of strain in echocardiography more often in diagnosing left ventricular function much earlier than when the ejection fraction comes down. There are many applications of strain which we are using currently like in cardio-oncology where monitoring the chemotherapeutic effects on the heart is very useful. Nowadays it is a routine practice to assess global strain that is basically the contractility at each segment which is summed up and we follow it after each chemotherapeutic cycle to determine whether there is a drop in myocardial contractility long before the ejection fraction comes down. The other area of use is in valvular heart disease where myocardial dysfunction occurs and we can detect the strains coming down much longer before the ejection fraction actually comes down. There are specific areas of um, use like in cardiac amyloidosis where there are certain patterns of apical sparing. There is a cherry on top appearance where the basal parts of the left ventricle has lower strain than the apical part. So strain is the new ejection fraction and we are going to see the use of strain in more and more diseases in the future. Let's work towards a healthier India.